And you've already seen these. Anybody seen Kathy Schrock's work? And she's amazing. And this is not just from her. Um, the uh, language blog, if you follow that, they, uh, Sylvia, I forget her last name, that worked with Kathy on this. There are lots of apps that can move you up on Bloom's taxonomy. And this is an older one. I'm sure there's more and more coming up all the time. But don't just look for apps. Bloom, those apps do not make you high on Bloom's taxonomy. It has nothing to do with the app. It has something to do with the practice. Here are some practices that are really important. I have put a link to Mitch Resnick's creativity cycle. Anybody know MIT kindergarten? If you don't, you, it's not for kindergarten kids. It is for adults and children of any age to learn like we did in kindergarten. His creativity cycle um, is one that I really believe is into, in this practice. The design cycle. Anybody here um, getting on the STEM bandwagon, which has been around for longer than we've been speaking about it? STEM in your school? Is that happening in your school? Pay attention to the STEM dialogue. The design cycle. Tony's going to talk about that in a little bit. Complex thinking. Tony, can you describe what complex thinking is? Um, from a, an artistic standpoint, uh, complex thinking is being able to come up with a solution to any kind of problem, being able to, to work through it um, through sort of a trial and error, whether it's something you do physically, paper and pencil, whether you build something, realize it's not working, or whether you just sort of work through it in your head. You're sort of figuring out the problem, coming up with different solutions by trying things out, experimenting, revising, and then coming back again. So it's that cycle. You're always trying, but you're basically you're able to do it because you have this bag of tricks. You have these different um, tools that you've developed through, hopefully through your schooling and through your experiences that will teach you how to be uh, a thinker, how to think your way through a problem. Um, it's being able to find the answer more than having the right answer. Sounds a lot like Big Six. Yeah, exactly.